Rumors mention that the Galaxy Note 7 drama could affect an early Galaxy S8. Other reports claim that the timing killed the water-resistant Pixel plans, and new developments point to what to expect from Microsoft's next event. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, you know what, Google? I would have rather preferred a late Pixel, but a water-resistant Pixel. This is Pocket Now Daily. So we are already gearing up for Microsoft's event to happen on Wednesday, and even though we're expecting more hardware that has to do with PCs than anything, uh, some trusted sources claim that we should expect two things. Names, the Microsoft Surface Studio, which is hinted to probably be a desktop PC, but then the question is, what is the Microsoft Surface Dial? It's one of the products that is being rumored, and we would love to know what you think that should be in the comments down below, because nobody dials phone numbers anymore, so it's probably not a phone. And for those of you that joined me in scratching your heads over why the Google Pixels are not water resistant, apparently everything had to do with timing. Long term planning and timing, apparently the Nexus devices were still going to continue. Then out of the blue, the company decided to just ditch them early last year, and there was just not enough time to perfect the design that would be anything more than IP53 water resistant. That's kind of hard to believe, but according to the sources, that is the case. I just feel that that's probably the selling point for the next Pixel. The problem is, it's a rather expensive Pixel for non-water resistance. Or IP53. Now let's move the spotlight over to Apple as iOS 10.1 just got released, and there are a couple of major changes here. Number one, improvement in bugs and reliability. There were a ton of issues. Even with iOS 10.0.3, I experienced a ton of problems with connectivity with the Apple Watch, so apparently it restores connectivity to Android Wear watches to the rest of them. And the second thing is apparently it comes with the portrait mode, and the reason why I say apparently is because I already updated my phone, and it's still in beta. Yeah, it's still in beta, but yeah, it's there. Now hear this for those of you that are still holding on to your Galaxy Note 7, and I'm one of them that has it off in the drawer, and I'm going to switch it soon. But here's the case. Apparently Samsung wants to ensure that customers stick with Samsung devices, up to the point where the company is apparently, because this is not official yet, going to offer a new plan where they drop 50% of the price of the Galaxy S7 if you switch to that, if you commit to grabbing the Galaxy S8 next year. And I'm like, why wouldn't I want to commit to the Galaxy S8, regardless of the 50% discount? Just the fact that you are enabled, that early option for an upgrade is great. So uh, wait for that, probably, but turn your phone off, or I don't know, think of something. And finally, the interesting news that they have to do with how early that Galaxy S8 is going to launch. According to analysts, the main reason why the Galaxy Note 7 became such a problem is called speed. The fact that Samsung wanted to race to launch the Note 7 in time before the iPhone 7 Plus, one. Number two, apparently, the fact that Samsung rushed the inspections and everything that had to do with the replacement units of the Galaxy Note 7. Instead of looking into the technology of the battery, what they did is just change the supplier. And uh, so, apparently, Samsung does not want to make that mistake anymore. And it makes all the sense in the world if you think of it. A Galaxy S8 with these amount of problems would just tarnish the brand completely. But it leads me to the question of the day. Do you think the timing is important to the Galaxy S8, or do you think that the best thing to do is for Samsung to do this right? In my case, I would rather do it right because the Galaxy S7, S7 Edge are great phones. Not that I'm saying that I want to wait until June next year, but I'm saying do this right, Samsung. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes if you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed. Follow us on pocketnow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also catch our videos on Vessel, vessel.com slash pocketnow. And follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.